What's up, guys? Welcome to today's video. My name's Cody Ballard, and uh, guys, for you who are new to the channel, uh, our channel is devoted to making you better at Madden 16. We do this through a variety of different subjects that we cover, uh, but today we're going to be showing you on Madden 16 offensive tip. And uh, yesterday we talked about the shotgun tray open offset from the St. Louis Rams offensive playbook. And uh, in this formation, we talked about how to use the play uh, Y corner, I believe. Yes, Y corner. We talked about how to utilize this play to beat man defense. And in today's video, we're going to show you how to use it to beat uh, zone defense. Uh, it's a couple of things that you need to do to be able to beat zone. And, and so we definitely want to cover those for you. Uh, but guys, before we do get into the tips breakdown... Uh, real quickly, I want to give you a little bit of background as to why I think it's important to have a play like Y corner in your playbook. This scheme is largely based out of the inside zone. The ability to run the ball is so essential this year, especially a good inside zone offense. And so the tray open allows us a very smooth little inside zone play that, that we can really use very effectively. The second thing that this formation allows us to do is it allows us a very nice verticals play. A good verticals play is very, very, very important in this year's game because this um, route combination between Eifert and Sanu against cover three coverage, you're going to be able to hit Sanu in this in this vertical seam. It's very important to have those access to those two type of concepts. But what's also very important is your execution. The ability to execute any offense is the most important, most important feature of any offense, and also the most important feature of any quarterback is the ability to read the defense post snap, to be able to quickly discern if it's a cover three, a cover four, a cover two, a cover one, a cover zero, or if it's a three deep three under blitz, a two deep three under blitz, or a three deep two under blitz. All of those components are very important to, dis to discerning what type of route is going to be open on a given play. One of the ways we're able to read the defense is through progression reads. And so that's what we're going to show you today is a way to read the defense using progressive reads. So all we're going to do to this play is we're going to put Sanu on this drag route and uh, motion him in a little bit. Now our first read against zone, we said yesterday this route to Bernard is very very effective against zone defense more so than man. Here's why. If we're just going to snap throw, if you just you know step up in the pocket real quick, you're just going to get a nice quick pass there for about five yards and and that's all you're really looking to do there. Okay, So it's just a quick little throw to kind of get you in a rhythm uh, is really it. But it's just quick. One of the things I think is also very important when throwing this route real quick is making sure you're not throwing off your back foot. Just kind of planting your foot. And here's how you do that. By not holding the left stick. Here, watch as I'm going to hold the left stick and it's going to throw out. didn't throw it on its back foot. It actually didn't throw it at all there. But if I hold the left stick in any direction, if I hold it up, left, out, or any, it's going to throw it off his back foot. In my opinion, you get very, very bad throwing animations if you do that. So what you should do is just not hold the left stick when throwing the route to Bernard and just simply bullet pass it, very simple, and you're going to get a nice five-yard gain. The next read you're going to have on this is a little crossing pattern to Muhammad Sanu over the middle. As you see there, we're going to be able to beat zone in that way. The uh, third read on this play is the corner route to Tyler Eifert. Normally you can sneak this in, especially if you have a good tight end. What I like to do against cover three coverage is uh, use a high pass lead. Uh, as you see, it's going to kind of give him a one-on-one -on -one against a corner. I really like my matchup there uh, with a guy like Tyler Eifert. If I'm using a lesser of a tight end, I'll probably just throw it to the outside corner. And you see let Eifert kind of go get it. This is a little bit of a touchy throw uh, when concerning this coverage. Um, it's actually a lot better against cover two, but we'll show you here. There's that uh, ability to kind of sneak that in. Also, one other thing that I think is important to mention is the potential to use the possession catch. Uh, so never hesitate. Use that possession catch. Not in that situation there. We got really ugly animation, but 
don't ever force this route. It's really a kind of a last resort. Uh, the first two reads are normally going to be open. And if they're not open, what you're going to see here is that corner is going to stretch that flat. So you're going to be able to hit A.J. Green coming underneath it. Okay, so those are those are really the keys to that. Um, situations where you're going to hit this route to Tyler Eifert is when they're going to be running like a cover two defense. And what you're going to do is just kind of thread that needle over there. I'm sorry, that wasn't a good example. But you still want to pass lead up with that uh, high pass lead by holding left left uh, left button or L1 on PS4. Uh, and so what you're going to do here is hold LB. High pass lead. He's going to get a nice aggressive animation. If you have to force that corner, that's the best way for my money to do it. Um, the corner is more of a stretch to kind of open up the first two reads. Okay. So, uh, or really the first three. And then the final read is this route over the middle to Jones. It's really only there for cover two. Um, that we're most defense, most cover three coverages, you're going to be able to hit them with the crossing patterns. This cover two coverage, what you're going to be able to do is 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 hit this route to AJ Green, and what you're going to find is they're going to start kind of coming down on this route to AJ Green. And so if they come down on this route to AJ Green, you're going to be able to stay at just stand tall in the pocket. Well, sorry about that. We weren't able to execute. Um, you're going to need a little time in the pocket. Normally you'll have it. Uh, I'm just going to spy these guys to kind of make it a little bit more uh, more exotic. Just to kind of give you an example of what this is going to look like. But you have time in the pocket. They're going to come down here. It's going to give you a one-on-one. -on -one. You're still going to use that high pass lead. Um, a lot of times we... A lot of times... We don't use the high pass lead as I did there, and we aren't able. It, it doesn't work right here. We're going to show you with the high pass lead, and you see, you should see a lot more of an opportunity. I have to get in practice mode for some reason. They really rush the passer a lot better uh, than they do in regular. So I'm going to have to just take these guys out of the play to just kind of show you my point. You're like I said, you're really not going to be even getting to this read. This is kind of a last resort. But just high pass lead, you're going to get a one-on-one. -on -one, and AJ McCarron's not giving me a really good opportunity to show you this. But the idea is, again, another one-on-one -on -one matchup for you to take advantage of. Um, but the key to this offense here is to take advantage of these crossing patterns. And, guys, I'm telling you what's going to happen is they're going to start user-controlling them. So if I'm in this defense, right, they're going to take this safety, Parker, and they're going to kind of user him on the drag, on the crossing pattern. So what that's going to do is it's going to leave you room to hit A.J. Green. That's really the key to this offense. And it's all about the ability to read your progressions. A lot of times people only focus in on one key read instead of reading their entire progression or route tree. That's really the key to this. Um, I want to give you one other tip to leave you with. And this is another good way to beat zone. Uh, if you take A.J. Green and put him on a streak, and then you take Mohamed Sanu, and you want to put him on a little flat pass, that's going to make this also a very good little route combination. And you're going to be able to hit this corner route to Tyler Eifert. As you see, it's going to allow you to hit that corner route with pretty good consistency. Um, I'll show you one other thing here that I like sometimes. Yeah, it doesn't work very good. But um, it is going to allow you to hit that corner route, okay? So, again, here's the hot routes the second time around. is the streak AJ Green takes Sanu on a little flat pass. Now, all of a sudden, you're going from a middle flood to a right side flood, okay? So an outside flood, and you're able to hit this corner route. So it's very important to kind of mix and match your play calling depending on the situation. This second setup here is a little bit more for beating just zone. The first setup was for a little bit more of just man. But uh, this this route to uh, Tyler Eifert, when you use these hot routes, is uh, very effective. I want to show you this real quick against cover two, and then we'll let you go. But here's cover two. For some reason, the game, the game has been kind of finicky. Uh, you want to use your high pass lead, too, to Eifert here. So drop back, use that high pass lead. 
if and, and real quick I just want to show you because I threw the interception I've kind of forced it's exactly what I said not to do don't force this route um, go through your progressions in this situation if you watch what happened Muhammad Sanu is standing wide open for an easy five to ten yards at this point at this point the ball is not even released right it's not even released easy five ten yards take your flat passes too often you will find yourself throwing interceptions because you're not throwing to open receivers if you're throwing to open receivers you're gonna be throwing complete passes so really for me the key is reading the defense not necessarily the routes it's all about reading the defense and making the proper read and also mixing in the inside zone every now and then because it is the most effective run in the game so guys that's how we use the Y corner to beat zone defense I'm also um, also glad that you guys got to get some exposure to some of the basic concepts uh, for offensive football this season in Madden 16. So I'll leave you with that, guys. Thanks for watching. And also, if you want to go ahead and get started um, in kind of expanding your offensive knowledge, check out my offensive ebook below. It's very, very uh, comprehensive in my opinion. And it's also, from what I've seen, one of the deepest offensive guys when talking about the shotgun snugs and uh, there's a lot there it's gonna teach you how to beat two man under it's also gonna teach you how to beat zone defense so if you're looking for kind of an introduction to passing I would recommend that offensive guide but um, anyways guys it's only ten dollars by the way but anyways guys thanks for watching this video if you don't want to pick up the guide then the best next best thing you can do for me is go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can come back and watch tomorrow's video we're gonna expand on this tray open offsets mini scheme here from the Rams playbook and, uh, and looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow